Welcome back, everybody. Or if you guys are new here, my name is Michelle. And I'm Jose. And this is our food and travel channel. So we're currently in Hawaii, Hawaii. And we heard that there's a food hall that kind of opened up recently and they serve A5 Wagyu. So, where are we going? So, we are here on the island of Oahu and we are in the heart of Waikiki. Mm -hmm. And we are checking out Mitsua Waikiki because they have this brand new food hall called the Japan. They're serving up dishes from Japan. Yep, and one of them is A5 Wagyu, so we got to get in there and get some. So, let's see what they got. So we've arrived. Yes, so we made it to the food hall. Mm -hmm. Again, it's called the Japan. Yes. And it's got vendors mm -hmm. that is bringing food that's been heavily influenced and things yes. directly from Japan. Yes. So the first place that we're going to try is called Wagyu Kokoro. Mm -hmm. And obviously by the name, you guys know. Uh, yeah, yeah, Wagyu. Wagyu. <laughs> <laughs> and so we ordered their premium Wagyu Bento. And it is A5 Japanese Wagyu. Yeah. I mean, you can tell the marbling on the meat is extremely plentiful. So, yeah, okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, we gotta eat it while it's warm. So, check there it you out. Go right here. Ready? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta experience this, man. Let wow. me experience that. This Wagyu, we've never had A5 Wagyu from Japan, but this right here, if this is what A5 Wagyu is from Japan, oh my god, it is buttery, soft, tender, juicy. Oh my. And they, they put just a or the L5 of salt L5. on top, so it's not like super seasoned or nothing. They, they just want that wagyu to be like the piece de resistance. And oh my lord, that is so good! Like the fattiness, it yeah. brings out so much flavor oh and my. juices. Okay, let's yeah. go in for another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, and it comes over a bed of rice mm -hmm. and it comes with some sides it looks like uh fried garlic chips yeah mm -hmm. uh wasabi obviously and then a sauce i'm not sure what the sauce is but keep it going doesn't need anything the yeah. by itself mm. wow okay it literally just melts with the temperature of your body Mm -hmm. And that's what it's meant to do. That's what AFI Wagyu is meant to do. It is meant to melt with the overall temperature of your body. That is extremely flavorful. Oh my god. So good. And it comes with some vegetables. I think it's just bamboo shoots. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to chase it with some rice. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like it's melting before I can get the rice. Come on. And to think that this place is inside of Mitsuwa. Like, yeah, which is a marketplace. But it's right here in the heart of Waikiki, so mm, easily yeah. accessible. Easily to get here, yeah. Mm. Man. I'm gonna try it now with the sauce that they have. It kind of tastes like a soy sauce, sesame oil based sauce. Ooh, that's that's really nice. I'm gonna dip just a little yeah. bit of it. A little bit of heat, but it's not like like a bad heat, right? It's just a, just a little smidge. Go. 
Yeah, it's just gonna add like a different flavor profile to the meat itself, right? It adds a little bit of like a slight saltiness mm -hmm. to that savory Wagyu flavor. Mm. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. This is good. Let me mm. try one of these garlic chips. Oh yeah. Ooh, that would actually be very nice. Okay. Now we're gonna have to do the perfect, perfect bite. So now we have the wagyu with the garlic chips and with the sauce, then over rice, but I'm excluding the wasabi. <laughs> it goes right up in the nostrils and sometimes it just gets me. So let's try it out. I'm gonna watch his reaction. Oh my. I mean, I don't even know. I feel like at this point, our only regret is we decided to share this bento. Yes, but we can solve that. I'm going to go get another one. <laughs> okay, so the next items that we got is going to be from another spot, again, that's just right here. Close to each other so what do we do? so the next place we're trying is called carp dori mm -hmm. and they have a plethora of yakitori to pick from yes there is many options so if you're in a group and some people want different types of yakitori there's going to be an option for them for sure yes and it's so neat because once you place your order mm -hmm. they cook it right then and there yes 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 so it comes out fresh and hot so what did we end up getting so we got Three different kinds. The first thing that we got, Jose's choice was? Uh, beef tongue. You know how good and flavorful and juicy beef tongue is? So we had to get it when I saw it on the menu. Yes, and then the second thing that we got is their pork skewer, mm -hmm. or pork. Yes. And then the third one that we got is their chicken and onion. So oh, yeah. a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of a, cover all the bases here. So what do you want to go with first? Um, I think we should try the pork. Let's try the pork, okay. And this time, we learned we're not going to share. We each got one. <laughs> All right, Here we go. go. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Nice chew. And a nice little, like, amount of fat on there. Mm-hmm. The lean. Oh, yeah. The lean Ooh. pieces to the fat pieces. It's got a nice salt, nice hint of salt flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. In there. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like there's something else on here as well, because as you chew, the natural pork flavor that gets elevated the more that you chew. So I don't know what else is on here, but it's making it very flavorful. I don't know if there's some kind of like uh, oil or glaze that they use when they're yeah. actually cooking it. Mm -hmm. But mm, this is very good. Really good. Oh yeah. Okay. We got some others that we have to try. Let's jump on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So next, what I chose, the beef tongue. Now you know how I feel about it. If you haven't seen our video in uh, from Surf and Salsa where we tried beef tongue for the first time, links will be in the description. You can check that out. All right. There we go. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah. What I expect from beef tongue. That very strong, beefy, like irony flavor is what I love from beef tongue. And that's what this gives you. Mm. So, mm. this beef tongue, it's got a little bit of a chew mm -hmm. yeah. to it because obviously it's. Tongue, yeah, wet. yeah, the different the different cooking processes, right? Oh man! But the flavor, I feel like the simplicity mm. of that beef flavor, mm -hmm. because yeah. I don't really taste like mm -hmm. any other things added to no, it. No, no. It's got that nice, simple beefy mm -hmm. flavor to it. Yeah. But it's still super juicy. Mm -hmm. And again, very juicy. The more tender. that you chew, yeah. The more that you chew, the more it just kind of fills your mouth with the juice. 
beef tongue in general is very flavorful, so you really don't want to add too much to it. You want that beefy flavor to be like the start of the show. So, oh, that's what this is. Oh, that's good. It's nice and simple. Sometimes, you know, simple things can taste so great. This is an example. Okay. Under number three. Now last, and I really hope that chicken is not starting to not like me anymore because, you know. He's moved on to A5 Wagyu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, this is chicken and onion. Yeah, chicken and onion. Looks like it's a green onion. On yes, it. yes. Now mine actually got a little bit of mustard on it. That's totally fine. There we go. Ooh, wow. That is tender. Ooh. Oh yeah. Super tender. What do you think about the crunch on the on the vegetables? I didn't get that. Oh no? Mm, you got a little bit of onion on there. I didn't get nice the crunch onion. Let me let mm. me try again. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, nice little crunch to it. It's nice. Yeah, nice crunch to the onion still. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mushy, mm -mm, mm -mm. but it adds another texture mm. to the chicken that is soft and juicy. Yes, yes, yes. I like that little crunch, the little snap of the of the onion. Yeah. And again, like the beef tongue, mm -hmm. this chicken, I don't taste like a lot of extra no. added to it. Yeah. You can taste that nice juiciness in that chicken, mm -hmm. that chicken flavor. Yeah. And then again, they've they've gone ahead and like cooked this, uh, cooked it well. Mm -hmm. It's got some searing. On there, and I can yeah. taste a little bit of that seared. Yeah, the seared 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 on of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I mean, perfect. All, I mean, all three of them I would get again, 100%. Uh, and they're very flavorful, and I really enjoy that they're not trying to add something that's going to destroy the original thing that you're cooking here, which is again beef tongue, chicken, pork. So that's great. All right. Yeah. Check out Let's another to spot. Place number three. All right. So, the third place on our amazing little food tour of this court. Where do we go to? So we are checking out a place called Kome Toshio Omosubi Fujimaru. I think I got that right. That <laughs> I'll put it down good. here below. I would, have, I would have butchered that name, to be honest with you. So that I think that's awesome. Yes, and they are serving up Omosubis. Yes, Omosubis. Mm -hmm. And they have a plethora of, of choices. choices. Yes, yes, they do. They do. Which is so, awesome. We went with two, mm -hmm. and so I got the salmon mayo, mm -hmm. and you got... Yes, so what I got was the pork kimchi stir-fry. Very exciting. I want to see what this tastes like. Yes. All right. All right. So let's go. So it's cute. It's packed in the nori. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little It's got package. the rice. Mm -hmm. You guys can see the little top. You can see what, oh, yeah. your, what your protein is on the inside or what you've chosen. Yes. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ooh, that is super soft. Oh yeah. The and you can taste nice like each soft. individual rice grain. Mm -hmm. That's different. So this is a special Japanese rice. Yeah, like you can totally tell that the rice in here is not just like your plain old rice. jasmine yeah. or white rice. That is so different. Like. You can actually see, so this rice, obviously, you know, it's, it's cooked in here, but you can actually see each individual grain of rice. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Like it's not, it's got a really nice texture. It's not like mushed together no, no. or anything like that. It's each each grain you see, yeah, each it's, individual it's very grain. It's plump and flavorful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the one thing that I noticed is that whenever you get rice and you kind of form it right, it kind of ends up getting like kind of stuck together. Well, as soon as you bite, I feel like the rice just kind of separates. Yeah, each individual grain. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, let's take another bite. You didn't have to tell me twice. So the salmon in mm. mine, you can taste that nice, fresh salmon natural flavor mm -hmm. and then it's got it's coated very very lightly in mayo but yeah. it's not it's not overly drenched in the mayo it's mm -hmm. just a nice hint of mayo in there 
so you're not losing that taste of the actual salmon, and it doesn't taste fishy. Yeah, no. At all. No. Now, with this one being the pork kimchi stir fry, obviously you're gonna get that uh, stir, stir fry flavor of kimchi, but it's not super hot. So I think what's happening here is that the rice is helping to kind of cut down on that heat, and uh, uh, I don't wanna say eliminating, but balancing out that heat. Obviously, the pork is nice and juicy, flavorful, but I love that kimchi. Kimchi is so good. And I think that the uh, ratio of the protein oh, yeah, or yeah, the yeah. main yeah. item that you choose to go mm -hmm. in this omosubi mm -hmm. and the rice ratio, I think it's nicely balanced. It's a good portion oh, yeah. between the two. Not too much rice, not too much of the protein, just equal amounts. Mm -hmm. So now I understand why they gave it a different name. That's not the same old... It's not the same of the products that we've had before, like Unagiri or Musubi or whatever. It does deserve its own like classification. That's primarily because of the, the quality ingredients mm -hmm. that they're using. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We're going to go ahead and finish this one off. Yeah. I mean, this food hall, heart of Waikiki, easy to get to, inside the international marketplace, inside of Mitsuwa. What more can you ask for? This is a real hidden gem. Yes. And it's all easily accessible. Easy. You don't need a car to get here. Yes. You just need your feet. Yes. And walk onto the international marketplace. Yes. And even if you do decide to drive, plenty of parking because there's the parking garage at international marketplace. Yes. So whether you want tempura, whether you want ramen, or you want yakitori. Or you want Japanese A5 Wagyu or uni that's been flown directly from Japan, or umusubis. I mean, this this spot, you can get several things. So if you come in a group, it's guaranteed. Because of the options that each individual vendor has, you're going to end up finding something here to just have a nice little get together and, and have some food. Yeah, something that will uh, that would please every taste Oh, yeah, bite. yeah, 100%. So first off, what did you think about that A5 Wagyu? We're so saddened because we went to go place another order yeah. for another Wagyu Bento, <laughs> but they were sold out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and it's so funny. I'm glad we came when we came because I did see like just a couple of customers after that. Come, so more than likely, they got the last of it. So it's like, ah, oh, okay, it is what it is. Yeah, that Wagyu, I mean, we've had Wagyu before, but American grade Wagyu. And although it was, you know, still nice and tender yeah. and flavorful. Mm -hmm. This Japanese A5 Wagyu is a completely different level on oh, its own. Man. So I'm pretty sure you guys, those of you who have had the opportunity to try it, can definitely agree. The yeah. butteriness, oh, the yes. melt in your mouth. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. He's, he's calling orders still. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, yeah. Oh. So when it comes to the A5 Wagyu, the quality of the meat, obviously, right? The fattiness of it, what? the ability to really just see. melt when you put it in your mouth is insanity. Yeah, and the rice, I'm not sure what rice, but it's gotta be yes. also from Japan. The rice that they use, mm -hmm. uh, it was just flavorful rice. You could see also the quality of every grain of rice, yeah. but the sauce. I don't know what, I don't know what the, the sauce, sauce is was. called, but it had a little bit of like soy sauce, mm -hmm. so some like sesame oil mm -hmm. flavoring in there. Yeah. Now the Wagyu is great on its own. Oh my don't God, get yeah. me wrong. Oh my God, but yeah. if you add a little bit of the sauce yeah. and the and the garlic flakes. garlic flakes all together into oh one my. bite, it's like a party in your mouth. Yes, it is. And there's only the only thing I want invited is the Wagyu. That's it. It was so good okay so what did you think about the yakitori that we chose so at the yakitori izakayo korpi dori yeah i'll put the name down here yes, yes, yes. but there's so many different options oh my there's so many different from. options of yakitori i mean you can't go wrong and you can order just by stick by stick or a couple mm -hmm. of sticks or whatever but i thought that all three that we ordered yeah they all had a running theme mm -hmm. Juicy tender. Yes, juicy tender, but they were also distinct. So obviously the chicken had that 
beautiful flavoring of the chicken, the pork, just that nice porkiness, the beef tongue. Very, to me, very beefy, very irony, which is exactly what beef tongue is supposed to taste like. And I think that the way that they do their yakitori here, mm -hmm. it's very simple. Yes. Simple, but yet packs so much flavor. Yes. Like yes. they don't add a lot to it. It's just nice and kept simple so that you're not losing the overall flavor oh, yeah, of yeah. the protein or the item that you're selling. Yes, exactly. Now, what did you think about the umasubi? So those umasubis, they're so cutely packed. I mean, but I feel like not only is the ingredient that you choose or the protein that you choose in there, yeah. I think that one of the, uh, the shining co-stars of yeah. the omosubi is the rice. Yes, it, it's so hard to describe the rice with the correct words, but it was bouncy. It had a little bit of chew on it. I, I don't want to say almost jello-like because that's not correct, but it just had such a nice bounce to it that it reminded me of that. And it just and separated. Nice texture. Yeah, it just the separated. The texture of it. And the, the so each good. individual grain. Yeah. Like, it's each indo grain, individual grain had its own place. Yeah. Like, even though they, they packed it and mm -hmm. created that, you know, that triangle shape, mm -hmm. none of the rice actually, when we looked at it, was smushed at all. It yeah. kept its it kept its yeah, shape its and its form. form. Yeah. So it was just really unique to see that because like in other dishes that we've seen, you know, once you kind of pack rice in something, yeah. you know, some of the rice gets smushed and what have you not, but this right here, no. each each kept an own it's kept its own place. Yes, yes, exactly. And then obviously the uh, the, the stir fry pork kimchi was great. It was flavorful. Had a nice little heat on it, but obviously the rice kind of Dull that down a little bit. What did you think about your protein that you picked? So my salmon mayo again. The salmon not fishy at all. Yeah. It was nice. It was flaky, mm -hmm. and then it was just lightly, uh, lightly dipped or lightly wrapped around with mayo, but mm -hmm. not again overly drenched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're in Waikiki, you have a car, you mm -hmm. don't have a car, whatever the case is, come to Mitsua and try these places out because they are extremely good. Yeah, so this food hall here called The Japan. Yeah. Again, so many different options for you guys to choose from. Yeah. You're gonna walk away happy. Oh, guaranteed. So if you enjoyed the content in this video, please do us a favor and go down there and hit that subscribe button. It just helps us to build our community here on YouTube as well as hit the notification bell. It just drops you a nice little notification letting you know that we drop new content. And then guys, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Yeah. It's free. And then don't forget, also hit that like button yeah. and then comment down below. Have you had an opportunity to try any of these op any of these dishes that we've mm -hmm. tried today? And if yeah. so, let us know. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, Michelle Jose Food and Travel. Yes, and as always, anything that we showcase in the videos, there's always gonna be links in the description below. So if you're interested, definitely go check out those links. All right, guys, until the next yep. time. Bye. Bye.